Hi, this is Miss Christine and welcome to the art workshop. Today we're going to do the watercolor project, The Giant Came to Town. So uh, let's begin by drawing, this is my paper, I'm on a grease board right now. I'm going to divide my paper into four squares, one vertical square, one horizontal square. I number my squares one, two, three, and four. All right, now I'm going to draw the Dallas skyline. So I took some pictures from Photostock.com and got a picture of the Dallas skyline that kind of gives you all the, the uh, landmark features. So in square number four, I'm going to draw a triangular building here. And then I will draw, that's in square number four and two. In square number two and four, again, I'm going to draw a line that goes down here. And then a line here. And a line here. And I connect those. If you want three-dimensional, you just connect those with an angle at the top. If you don't want three-dimensional, you just leave this portion showing for the younger students. They can draw in between other buildings, just like that. So for the three-dimensional look, I'm going to go ahead and put that angle back in. This is for the older students. And on top of this, there is a triangular roof with ornaments or lights here. And then I'm drawing too big. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, you know, the golf, I call it the golf ball here at intersection, the intersection line. I've got to make that straighter. It's hard to do on a grease board. And then I will leave square one and three empty for uh, the boot, the cowboy boot. Also, I'm going to go back here again. I'm going to put a building in here just to give it a little more. Okay, so I have my buildings. The shoe will come here. So in order to draw a shoe, what I do is I just draw kind of a leg going down, like a foot. Uh -huh. Or a kind of a curve in square one and three, and it goes into square four. Erase this. It's like a foot with a sock on. Calf here and here. So there's my leg and my foot. From there, the students can use their own shoes. They can design um, boots, cowboy boots, or they can do uh, high heels, whatever you want. Uh, it's up to them. You can also bring pictures to class uh, that show the different various styles of shoes. I got mine from fashion magazines, and um, the kids copied those onto the, the leg. So there is just the outline. And then I erase these lines here. I erase my imaginary windows. And I start adding my detail. I erase my numbers. I add my detail. And I put in windows. And all I do for windows is I just draw lines that go parallel to each line at the top. This is parallel. And I just draw a line like this for windows because I'm in a hurry angle off these lines if you're doing three-dimensional so they run with the top there the roof there you go and then there's a 3d here and if you have room for another building back here you can put one it's up to you um, I put circles for this smaller than what I'm drawing here because I have a big grease board marker and so there's the basic drawing then we design the boot. Now if you're doing the cowboy boot, all you do is you're just going to go up and down. You're going to make this line here, make a parallel line here, angle out like this. I'm going to go off the board again. I'm going to have my boot here. Nope, that's not what I want. I think I'll just do a regular cowboy boot. So you just take your, you've got your arch here. 
Okay. One, two, well, this is more like a high heel, three. Angle, angle. Put this down like this. To make the boot wider by angling back more. Then put an outer shape to the boot so that it looks like a boot. Put a seam in and put a yoke in here, blah, blah, blah. You can put designs on it, whatever you want. It can be any kind of shoe you want. There's a boot if you want to do a high heel. You would take that same arch, leg, heel, up, put the arch way up, The foot's going, the heel is going up and the foot is going down type thing. One, two, three. Boom, boom. You just design it any way you want. If you want to do sneakers, you would keep the arch lower like a foot just standing on the floor with a sock on. This board is bent, so it's hard for me to... So there's my sock. So with a sneaker, you would, if the students are doing their shoes and they usually wear sneakers, you would put a pant leg here, right? Put your pant legs in there. And then you put your sneaker here. With a sole like that. Little. Logos, whatever's on their sneakers. They know their sneakers better than I do. Some of them have this, blah, blah, blah. So you can put a sneaker here with a pair of pants. So you can do anything you want. The students can design their own giant's foot. Um, then when you're done, you take let me erase this. When you're done, you outline your picture on watercolor paper, and then next we're going to paint.